Welcome to What the Guru Podcast for Monday, July 22nd, 2024. Thank you for joining me. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest conditions affecting the lower 48 United States and sometimes beyond our borders. Right now, we're looking at the National Weather Service current hazards for today. And as you can see, it's a pretty small window of hazards. Mainly, most of the hazards are concentrated out west with excessive heat warnings in purple and also red flag warnings in hot pink fuchsia here in eastern Oregon, as well as in the San Joaquin Valleys, the central valleys of California as well as the high and low deserts, excessive heat warnings continue for temperatures over 112 degrees there in some spots. We also have out west in big sky country, Montana, excessive heat watches from eastern Montana to eastern two-thirds, so be careful in Butte, Helena, Cutbank. Uh, there will be some hot temperatures for that area as well. Flood watches continue in Rudioso, New Mexico, in the I-25 corridor up and down New Mexico from true for consequences up toward the Raton Pass in I-25. Be very careful there. Flood watch as well on the eastern coast here. Uh, anywhere from the Outer Banks of North Carolina, Elizabeth, North Carolina, back up into Warnock Rapids, uh, Norfolk, Virginia area, Hampton Roads area, and on, in on inland towards the uh, Chesapeake, Chesapeake Bay area. So be very careful there. There's also a heat advisory in effect for those traveling along I-95 from Savannah, Brunswick, the Seattle's, Jacksonville, down through St. Augustine and, and uh, St. John's County. And that extends inland and towards Gainesville, Florida as well. So be very careful if you're in that, coming through that area. Heat advisories are in effect. Now looking at the heat. Uh, you can see the heat is here, but it hasn't been a super heat wave like we had last week for the eastern two thirds of the country. But it's still hot. It's still 111 in Palm Springs, 108 in Phoenix, uh, 85 in Atlanta right now currently, uh, 82 degrees Fahrenheit in Roanoke, uh, Richmond, I'm sorry, and 86 degrees Fahrenheit in Hartford, Connecticut. So temperatures are hot and continue to be warm, but not as warm. A typical sun summertime heat is what we're experiencing, and that's going to lead to some typical thunder summertime thunderstorms for some areas of the country right now. Looking at the Atlantic and the tropics, ladies and gentlemen, it's quiet right now. We have no tropical activity expected in the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean Basin, or the Atlantic Basin, um, as well as the Eastern Pacific has been quiet. But there are two areas of interest in the Eastern Pacific. Going to the National Hurricane Center, we'll look at that later. But we do have this flare-up of showers, this convection that's continuing to impact the Bay of Campeche right now. This is going to forecast to move on shore, but there's a, de a decent flare-up of showers here and convection here in the southwestern Bay of Campeche, Gulf of Mexico there. So we're going to watch that closely, but so far it hasn't turned into an invest or anything significant here. South Florida's getting a lot of rain from West Palm Beach down through the Golden Isles of uh, Miami and the Keys are getting a lot of rain, rains continuing. They may pick up an additional inch or two with those moistures. Looking at the satellite toward the Africa coast, we can see we have three waves here. One tropical wave still on the continent of Africa. The other one just emerging here. Not too impressive. Uh, the satellite makes it look more elongated than it is because so far away um, but right now we have three waves here. Nothing's developing as of yet. Just a bunch of showers and thunderstorms southeast of the Cape Verde Islands, as you can see. Now, also, we have the sea surface temperatures here warming, as they should be. As we head to the end of July and August, things are going to pick up here. We're in a low until about two weeks here. About mid-August, mid we start seeing we should start seeing our next systems forming here. Debbie will be the next name on the list here. And they'll be coming along this area here, just out of the same area that uh, Burrow developed, is what we should start seeing here. 28, 29 degrees Celsius for the eastern. Gulf, um, Eastern Caribbean and Eastern Gulf of Mexico, as well as some warm response uh, towards Florida, off the coast of Florida, that low continental shelf providing an extra oomph to it. Some places might get up to 30 degrees Celsius as far as that, and 31 degrees Celsius off the coast of Florida and Louisiana. Um, over the coast of, off the coast of Bahamas, only 28 degrees Celsius, and this will continue to warm all the way out as we get into the peak of hurricane season. Uh, that's going to be affecting us more September the 10th to October the 10th. That's the peak, and then we're going to see that here. So, National Hurricane Center, no tropical activity, 48 hours, next 48 hours. Eastern Pacific looking quiet, but we do have those two areas of interest here. Showers here with a low 10% chance in seven days and only a 30% uh, chance in seven days for this little batch of showers. So this will continue to be moving into cooler waters, and so we don't forecast it to be anything developing here. Um, conditions are able to come a little more conducive, but it's going to be hard to you know get things going. This is moving away from land as they typically do in this Eastern Pacific district here. Now heading on to our radar scope here, courtesy of radar scope, we're looking at the actual live warnings here we have a severe thunderstorm warning for Tioga County in New York here and this is mostly for hail three quarter inch hail and winds to 60 miles an hour penny size hail radar indicated so damage spec damage to roof siding and trees up in Tioga County this is for Loonsbury Foster Catatonk West Newark and Weltonville or we go New York and Newark Valley New York so 
please protect your vehicles and your pets or your flowers as well. Bring them indoors. Just briefly here. Uh, severe thunderstorm morning lasts. Severe thunderstorm morning lasts until 2 p.m. Eastern. So we still have about 30, 30, about less than 30 minutes, 27 minutes left on this here. I put it in motion here, and you can see these showers are affecting the Wego. You can see that purple hell core there um, that's coming into the town of Wego and heading toward Newark Valley, New York as well. Just to get a wider view here, of what's going on here? These showers are continuing their northeast charge here. Um, into New York here, in upstate New York here, towards Binghamton, Oswego, Cortland here, just south of Syracuse here, in the Tokyo Plateau here. And it's going to be probably right up along the US, uh, New York State Thruway here. It's making its approach here into that district here. So we're coming along 87 there towards Albany in the Capital District, Binghamton, uh, Oswego, Oswego, Candor, New York. Be very careful. These storms are producing hail. And we can go to the velocity here. You can see there's pretty much just going to be a damage of straight line winds here. Straight line winds coming in here. And this is close to the radio, radar site here. As you can see here in their main New York. So we're getting some attenuation here of the signal. But you can see that there's just straight line winds coming in as well. In Puerto Rico, Aguadilla, there's a flash flood warning here. I'm going to go back and switch to the reflectivity here. And Aguadilla, so Carbon, San Antonio, can do Rafael Hernandez, those cities in there. 41 minutes. It's lasting the 41 minutes. Rainfall rates up the one to, uh, up the half an inch of hour has fallen an additional one to two inches of rain are falling in Aguadilla in Puerto Rico so be very careful here as well um, if you're in Cabon, Aguadilla, San Antonio even Isabella these showers continue to rotate northwestward very fast here they're moving at a clip west at 16 knots so they're moving pretty fast here San Sebastian picking up rain in Puerto Rico so it's the western side of even Mayaguez Mayaguez picking up rain here west northwest at 17 knots so this rain will continue to funnel offshore toward the rest here and there's also some showers over toward west of San Juan and um, Baja Vega Baja and Corazal these showers continue to move in that northwest fast here as this part of a tropical wave that's rotating propagating through the area as you can see showers here in the British Virgin Islands continuing here I'm um, in the US Virgin Islands Charlotte and Miley picking up some rain and Christianstead St. Croix picking up some rain here these showers will continue to propagate through and over toward Eastern Dominican Republic here as we get further and further off away right from the Puerto Rico radar site in San Juan uh, these showers will prop propagate in Eastern Dominican Republic be careful too these showers are gonna be coming offshore here of Aguadilla but Aguadilla and um, San, uh, Rafael Hernandez Carbon, San Antonio, you guys are under that flash flood warning in the next, uh, it's going to last for the next 40 minutes here. So be very careful in those, some of those higher terrain there and those areas there on the western side of Puerto Rico. So that's the two warnings and watches we have. I thank you very much for joining me. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel, Weather Guru, for the latest updates on weather in the lower 48 as well as other territories and parts of the U.S. as well, too. Thank you for listening. Talk to you very soon.